everyone. It's Lindy. Okay, so I've been promising a lot of you guys individually about this video, and here it is. Okay, so a lot of you guys keep asking about how I keep track of my profits, and um, if I use a spreadsheet, if I use something else. Um, the main way that I track my profits on a daily basis is through a spreadsheet that I created. And I have made it shareable with you guys. So there will be a link in the video description so that you can get it yourself. And then I'm going to jump over onto my screen and kind of walk you through how it works and how to use it in the right way. Let's do it. Okay, you guys, we are in the spreadsheet. Okay, there's actually going to be two separate links in the video description. There's going to be one for those of you that have a store and those of you that do not have a store. So right here, we are in the no store spreadsheet. And then, oh, store. That's how you'll know the difference between the two. No store and store. Okay. I'm just going to delete this. Okay. So, the very first thing that you want to do after you open the link is you want to save a copy of it in your Google Drive. Um, you will need a Gmail account in order to have a Google Drive, um, but pretty much everybody has a Gmail account anyway. So, but the very first thing you want to do, you don't want to just open this up and start using it as your own because this is the shareable link, which means anybody can come in here and edit it. And so we'll have, you know, however many people coming in and adding things in. So the very first thing you want to do after you open the link is you want to come over here to file and you want to say, make a copy. Okay. And then it's going to ask you what you want to name it. So if you want to change the name of it, you can, and then you'll hit okay. And so now saved in your Google Documents is your very own copy of this spreadsheet. Woohoo! It's your very own copy. So now what you're going to do, this is how it works. Okay, the reason why there is a no store, whoops, the reason why there's a no store copy and a store copy is because of the eBay fee. Um, if you have a store, then the most you pay is 9% of a final value fee. If you do not have a store, then it's a 10% final value fee. Now, this is not so detailed as to it will calculate the fees based on the categories that you sell in. Um, so if you sell in a category where there's a final value fee of less than 9 or 10%, then you're going to have to figure that part out on your own. But for the most part, most of us pay 9% or 10%, depending on whether or not we have a store. So that's why there's two separate spreadsheets. So right now, we're going to play around in the one that is a no store spreadsheet. So, okay, so you've opened the link. You're in your very own copy. You went to file. You saved your own copy. So now this is yours. You are the only one that can write in this. You are the only one that can track it. So let me show you how it works. This is how it works. This is super simple. It's bare bones. Um, it's just a really easy at a glance way for you to check the profits um, of each individual item. And it will also give you an overall profit for the month as well. So first off, we're going to enter in the date. So we'll say, oh, 1228. You don't have to put the year. The year will automatically pop in and you're going to tab over. Then you put the item number. You can open up your eBay account and go to your solds and just copy and paste the number. Or you can type them in by hand. We'll just make up a number. Then you're going to tab over. Sorry, guys, I need a drink. And then you're going to put a description of the item that goes with that number because obviously you're not going to know what the item is just by looking at the item number. So we're going to say that it's a men's lart, <laughs> large <laughs> shirt. We'll just say, you, of course, you would want to be more detailed than that. Uh, then you're going to enter in the gross sale. That's going to be your total sale price 
plus the shipping. So we're just going to say it was $15. And then once you tab over, the eBay fee and the PayPal fee is going to automatically generate for you. The PayPal fee is 10% of the gross sale. The PayPal fee is 2.9% of the gross sale. Then over here, you will have to enter in by hand the PayPal transaction fee, which is 30 cents. It is always going to be 30 cents. You will have to enter in 30 cents with each individual item, just because if you go in and you enter in 30 cents um, all the way down here without having everything else filled out, it's going to mess with your profit calculator over here. So you're going to have to enter in the 30 cents with every single one. Then you're going to enter in your shipping cost. We're going to say that it's shipped in a flat rate padded for $5.90. Then you're going to tab over. And then you're going to put how much you paid for the item. We'll say I paid a dollar for it. Then you're going to tab over. So now you could see here, this is your total profit on the item. And then over here in this column, this is going to be a total running, um, uh, an overall profit tally for the entire month. So let's do one more. We'll say, here's another item number. And we'll say this one was a purse. We'll just say it was a purse. And we'll say that it was $25 gross sale. So the eBay fee and the PayPal fee are gonna automatically generate. I'm gonna come over and do the 30 cent PayPal fee. And then it's going to cost, we'll say $6.78 to ship it. And we're going to say we paid $3 for it. So now we see our total profit on this item is $11.70. And over here, our total running profit is $17.56 for both of these items combined. And so what you're going to do is you're just going to keep entering things in. You're going to keep entering things in and it's going to tell you each individual profit. And then it's going to tell you your overall running profit for the month over here. Now down here at the bottom, I have it set up in separate tabs for each individual month. So this will be January. Then you're going to go into February or we'll scroll back up. See February is completely blank. And then we've got March and then we've got April. It goes all the way down to December of next year. So that's the spreadsheet. This spreadsheet will at a glance be able to give you a point of reference to know, oh, that men's shirt that sold on Wednesday and sold for 15, it was a profit of 587. And you have each individual thing broken down, which will really help you come tax. Oh, hiccups. It'll help you come tax time as well, because you'll be able to see how much your shipping cost was on each individual item, which is really great for your bookkeeping. All right, you guys, that's it. That's the whole spreadsheet. That's the whole video. So I hope that this spreadsheet helps you guys out. It's very, very basic. It's nothing intimidating. It's nothing fancy. It's just something really simple and easy for you to use to track your profits per item and see how your profits are going throughout the month. Now, this is not so detailed as to give you your overall profits after things like your gas and your shipping supplies and your ink and your paper and all of that kind of stuff. But it's going to help you see the kind of profits that you're looking at after fees, shipping, and product cost. So after fees, shipping, and product cost, it's going to give you an idea of the profits that you're looking at. at. And then, of course, later on at the end of the month, you will have that profit, that total profit number, and you can subtract your cost of fees and your gas and your mileage and all of that kind of stuff to find your true net profit for the end of the month. So I know a lot of you guys have been asking about a spreadsheet. There it is. There it is for you guys. I created it. Um, it's really simple, but it's effective. 
So the links are in the video description. Um, if you have a store, make sure to click on the store link. If you don't have a store, click on the no store link. And do not forget to save your own copy. Don't just open it up and start working in it because that is a shared copy. And everybody will be get it, getting in there and changing things and moving things around. So save your own copy. Make it private. It should already be private unless you make it shareable to everybody else, you will have to actually make it shareable. So don't do that if you don't want to share it. So anyway, I hope you guys have found this video helpful. I hope you appreciate the shareable spreadsheet. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and let me know. If you have any questions about the spreadsheet, you could feel free to leave it in the comments or you can email me. My email is also in the video description. And there is going to be a couple similar videos to this coming. Um, I do have a couple of different spreadsheets that I use when I create listings. Um, to just kind of help speed me through the listing process at a glance. So I will be putting those videos out very soon, but I know that this has been the most anticipated one for a lot of you guys. So I wanted to make sure I got it out first. So uh, if you haven't subscribed to me yet, I sure hope you will. And thank you guys again so much for watching. I will see you with my next video. Bye.